As a solo sailor, I am super reliant on all sorts of tech. Um, and it's not just for performance, it's keeping me safe, it's giving me situational awareness, it's telling me not only about what's happening to the boat itself, but also what's happening in the environment around me. And just here you can see kind of this is the main hub of where all of our electronics come to. Now we did a lot of work last year deciding what was important to us in terms of our electronics and our tech on board and then re-architecturing all of our systems so that it was easy for me to manage. It was a system that we'd made without lots of bolt-ons from other people and trying to get it into one place so that I could easily understand. So let's just have a quick run through of what we can see up here. So this here is our C-Zone digital switching panel. So effectively, it's all of the switches that turn everything on and off. Um, and so you can see here, if I go to my ballast pump there, just touch the screen and that turns the ballast pump on and then turns it off. Now the great thing about this is that I can mirror it onto a tablet so I can turn things on and off from anywhere in the boat if I have a tablet or my phone with me. Um, and then these units here are the actual physical places where the wires go in and out. And if for some reason this fails, then I've got a backup of manual fuse-based switches inside these boxes. Up here, these are the regulators for my solar panels. We just fitted those. They're going to be the third source of power uh, during the Vendée and longer races. Um, the main systems on board are 24 volt, but some things that we run are 12 volt. So all these three boxes here are converters that are changing 24 volt to 12 volt. Um, then over here, it's starting to get a little bit clever. So we've got our two B&G autopilots here and here, pilot one, pilot two, they're interchangeable. And if one pilot develops a fault or stops, I can switch over uh, with one button outside. And then this here is our BNG processor. So this is taking all of the sense information from sensors around the boat and processing that into a language that the autopilot and our instruments can understand. Um, over here, we've got a further two processors. So these are Exocet processors by a company called Pixel Sumer. So we've got the Exocet Blue, which is a data logger and monitoring rig loads, and the Exocet Silver, which is our main processor, taking in all of the data from wind speed, water temperature, boat speed, wind angle, um, and that's feeding that information to the autopilots, and it's giving the autopilots commands all the time to keep the boat fast and efficient. Um, over here, we've got um, our network gates. Um, so this is made by a local company in um, Poole, um, Actisense. So these various processors and various sensors don't all speak the same language. Um, and so this little box here um, converts one computer language into another computer language so everything can talk to each other. Um, up here, this is my GPS. Um, these are my alarms for um, the C zone here. So if anything goes wrong, I get an alarm here. Um, over in the corner, uh, this is my Wi-Fi box. So this is helping me to talk to the outside world. Um, and I can either do it, if I'm in a uh, range of the land, I can do it via GSM through a normal SIM card or I tether it to my satellite communication, which is uh, this box here. So that's a Talis Iridium Certus um, running from that box. Um, and then everything else you see these here are our junction boxes. Um, and it's all very beautiful and lots of flashing lights and it makes me happy when I look at it at night.